Along with John Shannon and Nick Kiprios, two significant moves by the Edmonton Oilers as we play this final weekend of preseason action in the NHL. Nail Yakupov, just four years after his draft of first overall, you wonder, was there any other way to go about this experience? No, and uh, you know, Peter Shirelli needed a year to figure out that he couldn't do anything with Yakupov. He probably should have tried to do the trade near the end of the regular season last year or at the draft. It just wouldn't work out. Now, the key thing was try to get something for him that would help the future. Because let's face it, the Oilers are better with guys like Drake Kajula, Jesse Pugliarvi, in that position, giving those players an opportunity. They know that Yakupov, in the end, did not fit into their long-term plans. Getting something in return was important. It wasn't that important that they got something that can contribute right now. It follows up the Taylor Hall trade for Adam Larson, and now you fill in Chris Russell, yep. basically, in exchange for Nail Yakupov. How much better are the Oilers? I like this a lot because you add a fight, a bona fide defenseman who can play 20 minutes a night, shot blocking. We know how good he has been there through his days in Calgary. Um, but they are deeper. Is it deep enough, Darren, that they are going to contend for a Western Conference? I'm not quite there yet, but they are improved, and it's at a fraction of the cost. There was talks... Uh, July 1st that he was looking upwards towards 25 or 30 million dollars over five years. Oh uh, that certainly is not the case with a 3.1 million on a one year deal. If he has a good year, he can extend that as early as January 1st. Edmonton Oilers, a much more balanced team heading into opening night where Russell will face his former team.